When I said best Szechuan noodle place, I didn't mean in China. There, that'll work. At least clicking on these results is gonna help others. Really, my dinner selection is doing the world a service. I'll tell you all about it. Oh, okay, now that looks good. Sometimes when we use descriptive words in our search bars, we have that eye-rolling moment of no computer, that's not what I meant. That's because we know which part of our search is more important, but the computer doesn't. Like I wanted to know the best Szechuan noodle place, but near me. In this instance, the where was the most important part of my search. So my search results gave me places too far away and some match my keywords, but it still wasn't what I was looking for. There's an easy way to fix this with some good old machine learning. The technique is called learning to rank and it teaches the machine to recognize how we as humans would rank results and information. Let's go back to our restaurant debacle and add in another factor. Now I want the best vegetarian Szechuan noodle dinner. Say we have a restaurant recommendation site. This is how it might rank sites based strictly on keywords. But here's how we as humans would rank them. For restaurants, the type and location are the important parts, while the name may not matter as much. So we use this training set to teach the computer how to rank the restaurants. If we take a bunch of these relevance rank results from certain queries, we can use them as training sets to demonstrate how to rank results. This training shows the computer which fields are more important to the user, so we get a list in the order we expected. Now this is simple if you have a small selection of restaurants and a few characteristics like food type to work with. But what about online stores with hundreds of thousands of products to search? Well, they could create rank training sets for every query and product type in their system. Or they can automate this whole process with signals. Remember those? It starts by having the system monitor signals and user behavior, like what they clicked on first or which products they eventually bought. This helps the computer figure out which items users found most useful. You can use both manual systems and signal-based systems if you're looking for the best of both worlds. See? This way your clicks are used for good. You taught the computer a lesson and made life better for everyone. Hmm, you're such a good person. For more information on all things AI, subscribe to this channel and check out these other videos.